welcome to the world famous Rose Battle! <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, I'm your host slash referee Brian motherfucking Moses. This is my DJ MC Lunchbox. You're an audience. Make some noise. <laughs> All right. My three badass judges tonight. Uh, first guy, you saw him first. He's the commissioner of the Austin Rose Battle. Make it loud. For my favorite pedophile, Adam Lucky! Hell yeah. Next up, handsome, preppy, make a lot from Matt Brassard. Oh, yeah. I love it. I wish I would have got this guy on stage tonight, but we don't have the time. But I love this cat. You've seen him on Comedy Central on MTV. Make a lot for Ty Rivera. <laughs> Love this show. Now, Matt and Adam have done this. Matt, you've done this on TV, right? Yes, sir. Hell yeah. You got any advice for these cats tonight? Anything like, that the audience should know about? Uh, I just hit the bottom there. <laughs> Guy's got a mathematics degree. <laughs> Can't turn a microphone on. Nice. I like that that black thing is fucking protesting you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend it's your girlfriend's vibrator. Come on now. A timing. <laughs> That's why he's so good. I love that guy. <laughs> all right, let's get into it, man. I'm excited about this fucking this show tonight. This is all Austin. This is just you guys tonight. I'm excited. Uh, the first battle you're going to see tonight, this guy's from L.A. Uh, he's an ex-heroin addict, hopefully ex. Lives in Austin. Now make a laugh for Dan Nolan! Yes. Yeah. Hell yeah. Not totally X era. Saturdays are still my cheat day, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's heroin cheat days? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. This is you like six years ago. Remember you? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it gets better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. All right. Uh, <laughs> your opponent, Darian. Do you know Darian at all? Yeah, I know. We have, we have played poker together. He's a big fat guy. I'm excited. Uh, it's going to be great. <laughs> Let's meet this cat. Uh, he's from Tennessee, but he's here now. Make it loud for Austin's own Darian Irwin! <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, man. Fuck. This looks like two different eras of Nazi. <laughs> Old school, new school, baby. <laughs> Darian. What's up, bro? It's good to see you. Uh, you heard what this fucking guy said about you. Why are you battling him? Why am I battling him? Yeah. I'll tell you what. I uh, desperately need the 60 bucks. <laughs> you do this every time. You know it's 70 bucks. All right, let's... <laughs> fuck! Let's get into this. This one round is five jokes. Dan, Darian, who's going first? I'm going to go first. Goddamn right, white privilege. Are we ready for this? <laughs> are we ready for this? <laughs> battle! Battle! Let's roast! Uh, Darian works as a door guy at a comedy club, and his titties are bouncers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dan, Dan used to be fat. He doesn't tell people this. He used to be very fat, so when he OD'd, they had to revive him with Narcan't Believe It's Not Butter. <laughs> Darian looks like he's here to give a lecture on critical rape theory. You told me you need a CPAP to get to sleep, and CPAP stands for child porn and pills. Uh, Darian's comedy career hasn't been making a lot of progress lately, but the place where he feels really stuck is in bathtubs. I've lost 170 pounds this year. Shut up. Your dad lost 200 pounds when he killed himself. (laughs) 
alive. I don't know. <laughs> he's doing... He's kind of fat and fucked up, but I don't know. <laughs> he's fine. Darian did lose uh, 170 pounds over the last year. Uh, he, he knew things were going well when SoulCycle stopped charging him for two bikes. <laughs> uh, things are going well. Things are going well for Dan. He was actually cast in the reboot of the intergalactic epic Storage Wars. <laughs> 60 bucks either way. <laughs> Uh, Darian and his wife were actually expecting their first child. Uh, he was kind of upset at first when he found out there wasn't actually a bun in the oven. <laughs> you look like an Uber driver if, except if in, instead of driving for Uber, you just fuck kids. <laughs> you look like you have to take Uber because you're too heavy to lift. Ah. <laughs> Bad boys. Told you we can't stop. Keep it going, audience. That's Dan Nolan, that's Darren Irwin, and that's our first roast battle. Adam Lucky, who'd you like in this one? Uh, I thought that was fucking awesome. You both look like you lost a lot of money in crypto. <laughs> I bought dog rape coin, that was a big <laughs> Yeah, you, you look like you're on the way to a To Catch a Predator social meeting. <laughs> it's just, it's just a little casual meet and greet. I thought uh, it started really even, fucking great. Uh, Dan, you pulled, pulled ahead, but Darren, even when your jokes dropped, you still did a great job recovering, but I think Dan was a little bit more consistent, so I got to give it to Dan on that one. Okay, okay. Yes, they do look like they... Yeah, hungry, hungry crypto. Go ahead, <laughs> Matt Broussard. If you had asked me uh, which of these two was a former heroin addict, <laughs> I, I would have got it wrong twice. Um, <laughs> Darian looks like a, a felon ex-husband and Dan looks like the guy she settled down with after. <laughs> Not great in bed, but a good stepdad, for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, Life after lockup, yeah. That was, a, that was a really good round. That bouncer joke was my favorite uh, of the two, but the butter joke was great right behind it. Um, jokes in the middle were good. Uh, Dan, I do feel for you that Darian lost so much weight that some of those jokes stopped working. Uh, it's a real bummer when someone How do you think I feel? Life. I lost 45 fucking minutes. <laughs> um, the lift and the bouncer's joke kind of clinched it for Dan, so I'm giving it to Dan. Oh! All right. Well, that's two votes, and that, that means that, uh, like a gay man in America, your vote doesn't count, Ty. <laughs> but go ahead. Typical. <laughs> it's nice seeing the not-so-proud boys go at it. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, and I agree with everything Matt just said. It started off really strong, and then at a point, Darian, you started kind of flubbing your jokes a little bit, and other than that, it would have been great, but uh, you just got a little bit stuttered. And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you too, buddy. <laughs> well, I'm not the one losing right now. So. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> I'm voting for Dan as well. Thanks, <laughs> Clean sweep. Make it loud, Dan Nolan! Hug each other. Battle number two. This is exciting stuff. This is, um, this is our Oppenheimer battle. Uh, this is an Asian person versus a white guy. We're bringing World War II back in this one. Let's bring up the enemy first. <laughs> From Virginia, he's now here. He's a door guy down at the Vulcan. Make it loud for my man, Mr. Michael Ridley! Yo, what's good? Hell yeah. Hey, what's good, Brian? Yeah. How are you? Um, just so these people know, I, I, said, I, I said the Oppenheimer thing. What kind of Asian are you? I'm Filipino. I'm a water Mexican. <laughs> a water Mexican? Yeah, Filipinos are just Mexicans with webbed toes. <laughs> I can swim fast as fuck, y'all. <laughs> and I steer with my neck like a catfish. <laughs> I don't know if you know about Mexicans. They're kind of good at that. Anyway, um... You're battling Matt Black. Why are you doing this to him? Uh, because, uh, you know. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> I've, had a, I've had a beef with Bellick for a while, dude. All right. Well, this guy is a monster joke, right? I make it loud for Matt Black. <laughs> Bellick. Yeah, what is up? All right. Hey. This is, well, you guys look the same, but just different ethnicities. <laughs> Goes, they, they make them the same in Austin, doesn't matter what race it is. All right. Bellick, why are you doing this to this cat? Uh, you know, World War II, all that jazz. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get him. 
No. Oh my God, I have a joke about that Blink-182 shirt. Anyway, um, it's one round, it's five jokes. White, Asian, who's going first? You got this? Matt, go first. I'll go first? Yeah. All yeah. right, let's do it. Are we ready, audience? Yeah. Matt Bellick, Michael Ridley, let's roast! <laughs> Michael Ridley, he is, uh, he's half Asian, he's also half redneck. Uh, he's the kind of guy that'll eat his sister's pussy with chopsticks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Matt's always bragging about his TV credits. Bro, we get it. You're close with Chris Hansen. Jesus. All right, Karate Kid Rock. Here we go, dude. All right, yeah. I, uh, he looks... He, it, it, Michael looks weird. He, he's kind of like a stir-fried Danny McBride. You know what I'm saying? He's like a far east bounding down. <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck up, Matt. You look like somebody typed in blockbuster rapist into an AI image generator. All right, Manny Fudge Pacquiao right here. Here we go. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. We, uh, <laughs> uh, so everyone knows this about Michael. Michael loves Pokemon. Everyone knows that. Uh, here's what people don't know. He will follow you into the bathroom and try to sneak a Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> Matt was pretty pissed when Epstein died because he used to work as a tour guide on the island. If you look to your left, you'll see Bill Clinton and Tom Hanks living out my dreams. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're good guys. All right. Uh, yeah, I, you guys know this. Uh, he's a comedian, but in his free time, he actually DJs at Trump rallies. His, uh, his DJ name is uh, DJ Kim Jong. <laughs> Matt made history by being the first sloth who was banned from schools. I, uh, no, All but right. seriously, though, um, hold on, I got one. Please. Uh, please. Please. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Matt's favorite Nirvana album is Nevermind because it has a baby dick on the front cover. Uh, <laughs> All, right. All right, gooks of hazard. We're going to do this. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> I, uh, uh, Michael is, uh, he's a weird one. Michael's favorite Chinese food is General Lee's chicken. Matt looks like he runs a YouTube channel where he reviews fleshlights. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Matt Sturbader. Got another <laughs> unboxing video for you. We got, the stamina, we got the stamina training unit. Guys, be sure to smash that like and subscribe button as hard as I'm about to smash this rubber pussy. His family makes the, uh, the, the flashlights. <laughs> yeah, they make it. Yeah. yeah, baby! This is Austin! Yeah! Michael Ridley! Matt Bellick! Fuck! Austin, this is why you guys are number one, man. I'm gonna start with Ty on this one. Who'd you uh, hate the least? <laughs> what were these lesbians arguing about? <laughs> 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 There's not enough Diet Coke here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just kept trying to figure out what aisle of Home Depot I was on right now. <laughs> Somebody get the RAV4, shit. <laughs> No, this, was, this battle was fucking excellent. Both of you guys did great. Uh, Michael Ridley, Filipino, the lowest rung of Mexican and Asian. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Damn. Uh, That's true. Uh, thank you for noticing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that YouTube act out was fucking great. Yeah. It was absolutely great. But then Matt just kept hitting you with the comeback. So even though I really loved everything you did tonight, Mike, uh, Matt is who I'm going with on this thank one. You. Thank you. Thank you. This is a good fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, <laughs> yes, this Matt. is a really good battle. Matt has, like, the delivery of a, uh, a news reporter, but then he looks like, I don't, like someone playing Ron Jeremy in a biopic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and the yeah. wildest part is you look like that, and, and Michael is somehow more white trash than you. It's a very <laughs> interesting thing. Like, you look like a, a, a defected Korean general in witness protection. It's a very... <laughs> this, whole thing just looks like a, a, a roof, a guy buying roofies and the guy who wholesales them. Um, no, he looks like he, he wants to say get her done, but he can't say er. <laughs> get Al done. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Get the dog! 
Gita Don. Hey, Gita Don or do? Gita Don. Gets L done. Yes. This was, uh, this was a great battle. I mean, it, it was just really fun to watch. Michael, good job with the act out of the end, but Matt just had a bunch of fucking good jokes, so uh, us whites got to stick together. And, uh, Goddamn white. Brother. Hell yeah. All right, it's two for Matt. Adam Lucky. I fucking loved it. It was like Pearl Harbor versus Pearl Jam. <laughs> <laughs> it was like that. Oh, yeah. Damn. Both have a lot of surprise hits. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jeremy. I'm a silly little guy. Uh, <laughs> I fucking love this battle. Here's the thing is, Michael did so goddamn good, and he's always so funny, but it's just Matt was on fire tonight. Like, yeah. I think, Michael, you would have beat almost anybody else, but Matt, your joke writing tonight was fucking incredible. I think you're one of the best roasters. I think you took that one. Thank you. But fucking one of my favorite battles I've seen in a long time. Very Absolutely outstanding. Thank Clean guys. sweep, Thank though. You. Second winner of the night, Matt Bellick! Oh, uh, this is a great front row right here, sure. All right, let's... Uh... This next battle is exciting, Adam. Make a lot for Adam. He booked all these battles tonight. That's the commissioner right there. These are really good. Ladies first. It's our first lady of the night. Make a lot for Austin's own Candice Medina. Hey. Hola. How's it going? Hola. Good to see you. Uh, you're see you. battling um, Francisco Rincon. Why are you doing this to Francisco? Well, I always love doing roast battle, like the creative ways that people call me fat. And uh, now, now I get to do it in Espanol, so that's great. Fuck yeah. All right. Uh, this guy, he's here. We love him. Make a laugh for Francisco Rincon. <laughs> hey, Frank. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> well, you're battling Candace tonight. Why are you doing this to her? You wanted me to call her fat. Facts. Fats, fats. All right. Uh, one round, five jokes in English. Who's going first? Can you go first? All right, cool. Fuck yeah, more white privilege. Are we ready for this? Are you ready for this? This is a good one. Battle. 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 Candace. Francisco. Let's roll. Uh, when Francisco was a kid in Venezuela, he fell out of a papaya tree and sucked every dick on the way down. They had a little bit of papaya on top. Uh, Candace, uh, her ankles are experiencing more pressure than that submarine that went to the Titanic. <laughs> yeah, and you'd make a great passenger on that ship because you're a wetback. Uh <laughs> hey, well, Candace, uh, oh. you're, you're, you're half Mexican. Well, I didn't get to do my joke. Oh. Oh, okay, go is, ahead. Is that cool? Sure. Okay, give it up for Francisco, for real. Like, he is, uh, he's a paid regular here at the Mothership, which is awesome. Yeah, jizz janitor. Uh, <laughs> like, you could just use a mop. You don't have to keep using your ass. <laughs> they, they pay me in mangoes. <laughs> for uh, when, when Candace's mom was pregnant with her for the gender reveal party, they popped a balloon. Yeah, a water balloon. It's a whale. <laughs> Ahoy. So she did go to the Titanic. All right. All right. Uh, gracias. Um, <laughs> Francisco is the first comic uh, to sell mangoes as his merch. Um, <laughs> you just have to drive down I-35 to get them. <laughs> Well, you're dressed as my favorite uh, tortilla lady. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I was inspired by your mom selling roses at a concert, so. Yeah, you're wearing exactly what my tia would wear for my, my sister's quinceañera. Did you bring tamales today? Uh, I don't know. Oh, wait, they're in your belly. Uh. <laughs> was it my turn? I don't know. I guess, yeah. <laughs> 
All right. Okay, puppy. Um, let's see. <laughs> I sometimes have trouble believing that Francisco's accent is real. Like, I feel like he's just practicing Scarface in the mirror. Just like, first you get the money. Then you get the power. Then you get the allegations dropped. <laughs> Cami says, uh, men have a hard time uh, finding her clit, but uh, hey, maybe it would be easier if you didn't hide it behind your fupa. Yeah. I find that hard to believe because I've got a massive pussy. Um, <laughs> like, I can it's, smuggle it's like not... five of you into here, for sure. I don't know. That's how I got here, and it's 90% fat. It's... Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. It's like all roast beef. Take me back to your country. I can feed a nation. For sure, with your body alone. They would... Yeah, that's a joke where they eat you. Sorry, if you don't understand what I'm saying, you can press two on your phone. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Uh, that's, that was good. You, you know, just real quick, uh, table 34 needs a refill on chips. And um, <laughs> See, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, Francisco is named after the city of uh, San Francisco. And much like the city, he too has had millions of gay homeless inside him. That's true. Hey, uh, Candice, a lot of people say you're fat. I don't think you're fat. I think you're happy. Um, you're very happy. You look very happy. Are you this happy because you only eat happy meals? Uh, I don't know. You make them, so you should know. That's it. That's it. You're good. I'm good? Okay. Let's stop you in. That was it? That was Cinco? That's good enough. I, she, she needs this more than I do. Yeah, she told me that she oh, tried to... Oh, you're adding to, another joke. She, okay, she to, <laughs> Smuggling pre, a new hey, one Hey, come on. I'm a little immigrant boy. Let me get a little... It's okay, yeah. She told me that she tried to kill herself when she was 11, and she is still trying to kill herself with food. Hey, Candice, keep eating. You're almost there. Oh, uh, no. I, that was bad. Okay. Totally worth it. I love it. you guys. I love you, Candace. Totally worth it. Keep it going. Candace Medina and Francisco Rico. Woo. All right. It was, a, uh, it was a battle that became a podcast at the end. <laughs> Go ahead, Ty. Who'd you like in this one? Look, Candace, I know these pool boys can get out of hand, but this is not the way you do this. This is not the way you discipline the help. I get it. <laughs> You're a bit of a Karen. <laughs> I, I thought it was a good battle, honestly, but like towards the end, you guys did just seem to start kind of arguing. Yeah. It, yeah, it felt like a weird situation where I'm watching you guys argue. And then, Francisco, you insisted on doing that last joke, and it wasn't worth the fuck to tell you the truth. <laughs> 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 I can't believe you fought for that, because it did not go well at all. <laughs> And it's based off of that last joke alone that I'm giving this to Candace. Cause Damn. Yeah. All right. Adam Lucky, who'd you like in this one? Uh, this was my favorite episode of 90 Day Fiance of all time. <laughs> I love it, dude. It's hard to tell which way it's going. It's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. The bickering uh, made it not as fun. Both of you guys had great jokes. I think you tried a little too hard to go at each other. Maybe you guys should fuck and get it over with and just fucking... <laughs> In front of us, <laughs> right now, pussies. Nah. No, oh, no, guys, come on. <laughs> This lady wants him to. Lady loves it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that she's drunk. That's fine. Um, no, I, uh, I was actually going to say one more joke, but then Francisco fucked up with that last thing, and uh, I think Candace. I won keep that. doing this for myself. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Puss and Boots. You rock, though. I love you. But... <laughs> this was this was close. Francisco is. Uh, You're very funny. Like, your delivery is so bad that it's good. Yeah. I mean that as a comment. You're both very, very funny. And I, when they said, are you Mexican? Or no, Venezuelan. Which are you? Venezuela. Okay, I'm reporting it to the government. Um, <laughs> I was hoping more Hispanic, because I was going to do, like, gardener jokes. But you look more like a, like a figure skater, if anything. Um, 
This was good. It got close. I feel like some momentum was lost. I do think Candace just crushed it on that, that comeback at the end and kind of clinched it. So I'm giving it to Candace. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, your third one of the night, Miss Candace Medina! Hug each other, you two. One more time. That's Francisco. That's Candace. Keep it going, audience. All right. Two battles left. That lady's cool. <laughs> All right. This is exciting, this next one. Uh, a former champion. I think she's the current champion. Am I right about this? Heather? Uh, no, she's not. All right, never mind. Uh, former champion from Austin, heart. Texas. Make it loud for Miss Heather Key. Hello. Yes. What up, Heather? I'm good. How are you? Hola. Uh, you're battling Colin O'Meara again. Mm-hmm. Why again? Uh, I want to see if I can kick his ass twice. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, she won the first time. This guy is blowing up all over the fucking Rose Battle YouTube. Please subscribe and like. Smash that button. Uh, but we love this guy. He battled Casey Rocket on this stage last time. He's battling Heather tonight again for the second time. The rematch. Make a laugh for Colin. O'Meara! <laughs> Sir? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Hey. <laughs> Good to see you, Carl. How are you? All right, I'm pretty good. Uh, you're battling uh, Heather Keith over here. Why are you yeah, doing again. This? Yeah. Uh, why again? Fucking, they asked me to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Matt. This is the last time you invite your fucking cocaine dealer to battle, okay? <laughs> no mas. One round, five jokes. Who's got it first? Sure. Yeah. All right. So you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is a fucking. This is weird already. <laughs> This is Colin. That's Heather. This is part two. Let's roast! Uh, Heather is an emo Mexican, uh, which means she tried to cut her wrist, but she couldn't get the weed whacker to start. Uh, Colin looks like he uses hair gel as lube, and then he uses his cum as hair gel. <laughs> yeah. That's why it smells so good. I, uh, I feel like if Heather's pussy could talk, it would only sing sad songs like Wonderwall, you know? Like, today is gonna be the day that I'm gonna stink up the room. Uh, Colin, <laughs> Colin looks like the dude from every early 2000s movie that secretly loves to fuck fat girls. <laughs> yeah, you wish, dude. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, damn. Uh, yeah. Uh, Heather looks like she has a sugar daddy who actually just gives her sugar. Uh. Uh, Colin is an unlicensed barber, and his dad shot himself, so he's pretty used to people in his life wanting a little bit off the top. Yeah. That's true, yeah. My dad killed himself. You look like you killed Selena, but... Uh, uh. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Heather actually broke up with her boyfriend because he wouldn't come with her to get an abortion, but uh, in his defense, is he supposed to go with her to the bathroom every time she takes a shit? Like... Uh. It's crazy. Your dad aborted his brains. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Colin looks like he often quotes Ben Affleck and then goes, that's a Ben Affleck quote. That guy's a fucking legend. Yeah, yeah he is. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that guy's fucking rules. Uh, Heather looks like uh, she breastfeeds uh, herself. Um, uh, Colin looks like he often calls the cops and goes, first of all, you're not better than me. <laughs> Second of all, you're going to want to call an ambulance. I just beat the shit out of my girlfriend. Yeah. In my defense, she was talking shit about Ben Affleck, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep it going for Colin, Heather! That was that ass. <laughs> Which is so fluid and natural, you two. Shit. Uh, you guys can't see this, but Colin's got a fatter ass than Heather, and that is <laughs> wild. Turn to the side. Turn to the side. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let, me, let me go to a, 
a flat ass gentleman over there, Adam Lucky. Who'd you like in this one? I loved it. It was like a Hot Topic employee versus the guy that sells cologne at the mall. <laughs> <laughs> it was that. <laughs> Who's who? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing is, Heather, your jokes fucking ruled. Like, it was really good, really unique shit, but Colin had such a good comeback for everything you did. He was so on his toes, and he fucking killed it. It was... I would actually say it's probably my favorite battle so far. I thought you guys both killed it, but I would give it to Colin on that one. But good job. Okay, both okay, you guys fucking okay, murdered. okay. This was... This was a really fun battle. This was really fun to watch. All the jokes really landed. Colin looks like a nightclub promoter, but for bar mitzvahs, and... <laughs> Heather looks like a spooky chandelier. Um, <laughs> Heather, you killed it. There were, some, there were some subtle jokes in there that I don't think the crowd gave what they deserved uh, that, that I thought were really great. Colin, uh, you, you smashed every, every joke, though, so I'm giving it to Colin. Well, Ty, it doesn't matter, but go ahead. Heather is one of my favorite battlers. I really love watching Heather, and that's not a secret. Um, but Colin cuts my hair, so... <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I cut his hair on Friday, dude. Is that why he looks like shit? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, what the hell? Whoa! What the hell? Let's go! Damn! Trust me, Heather, it's no worse than that skirt you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> Stop using the tablecloths at work for that. <laughs> but yeah, even if Heather hadn't talked shit, it still would be calling on voting yeah. for right now. <laughs> Folks, he wins the rematch. Colin O'Meara! Hussy Shazza! All right, last battle of the night. Who's ready? <laughs> nice. What's up, handsome Jeffrey Epstein? Good to see you. Sure. Don't look around like it's not you, sir. <laughs> it's like, fuck, he found me. I guess I'm not dead. Oh, shit. <laughs> Didn't kill myself. All right. Uh, I'm excited about this one. It's all Austin. These are the best guys here. Make it loud for my first guy, Mr. Nat Rogachevsky. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Adam, Lucky, this is for you. Why does every fucking battler in Austin look like this? <laughs> we don't have black people yet. We're working on it. <laughs> We're trying to figure it out. I, I ordered some on Amazon Prime. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have black people. We're working on it. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. All right. Uh, <laughs> Nat, welcome to the show. What's uh, up? Do you know Lucas? You guys friends? Good friend. Why are you doing this to him? Uh, you'll see. <laughs> Uh, love this cat. Make it loud. Lucas McCreary! <laughs> Hell yeah. Why are you laughing, bitch? What the fuck? <laughs> Just said, ow, I will fuck you, you piece of shit. What? I told you guys. She came out, she started laughing at me immediately. <laughs> Just from how I looked. I'm gonna fuck your boyfriend right here. <laughs> you piece of shit. Uh, good to be here, though. Oh, Thank my you. God. <laughs> it's because you have her haircut. That's why she's looking at you. <laughs> the she's carpet like, does match to the drapes. Prove it. Prove it. All right. Uh, Nat's looking to battle you. Why are you doing this? Are you guys friends? We're very good friends, and I want to prove to you guys, despite what you think, Nat's a good guy. <laughs> All right. Um, when I first met you, your pronouns were different. Are, are, what are the pronouns today, Lucas? What are, the pro what are the pronouns today? I'm a fucking man. Yeah. yeah. All, right. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. Welcome back to man. Yeah, okay. Thank right. I'm black. Yes. <laughs> you can be that next week. Shit. It's all the rage I hear, especially in Florida. All right. Uh, one round, five jokes. Gentlemen, who's going first? Ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's talking about you, Nat. All right. Uh, Listen, this is the last battle of the night. Let's make it so fucking loud we break this bitch. Battle! 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 Nah! Yeah. Lucas! Let's run! Yeah, that's what's up, man. Uh, Lucas looks like that girl from Last of Us if us was just his pronouns. <laughs> he does. 
Nat looks like he wants to be flexible so he can finally suck the Cheetos dust off his cock. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, Peter Pansexual. Uh... Thank you, Pillsbury Jew Boy. <laughs> you look like the Pillsbury Doughboy if the pills were testosterone blockers. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Lucas looks like after sex, he goes, now that wasn't so bad, now was it? Yeah! And, then, and then she'll say something really kinky like, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you guys don't know this, Nat uh, puts peanut butter on his dick. Uh, it's, it's not for his dog, it's so Nat has a snack at the movies. <laughs> Love that. I wrote a lot of you put your penis in food jokes. <laughs> Did you guys know Nat puts the holes in the donuts? <laughs> That's good. Thank you, David Blowy. Um, <laughs> let's see here. No, it's true. Lucas used to be non-binary. Now he uses masculine pronouns. But if you talk to him for a second, you'll see that he is a faggot. All right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My bad. You guys hated that. That's true. I used to be uh, non-binary, and Nat likes to get fucked by women with penises. <laughs> so we both have had a little trans in us. <laughs> Thanks, Kristen Stewart. Uh, let's see. It. What the no, fuck? he he actually looks like Elliot Page, that that trans girl from Juno. Do you know what? He's still a fag. All right. <laughs> Nat is uh, Jewish, uh, sorry, and uh, <laughs> he's Jewish, but he talks like a Nazi, because I, I asked him, Nat, do you want two burgers? And he said, no, I want nine, 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 nine. <laughs> you are a very ugly woman. Anyway. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, Lucas is actually a door guy here at the mother show. Oh, my bad, bro. Uh, Lucas is a door person here at the gender non-conforming parent ship. I'm a door person. I'm allowed here any day. You have to have a wristband to be in here, you fucking tourist. <laughs> Nat, uh, I, uh, I do like your people. I like your Jewish people. You guys are good. Uh, I like uh, your holidays. Hanukkah is pretty good. I like Hanukkah because it sounds like a samurai killing himself. Hanukkah! <laughs> well, not, it works for other Jewish celebrations. Uh, Yom Kippur! 9-11! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Thank you, Philip Seymour Hoff, them. All right. It's okay. <laughs> uh, this is true. I don't want to do all pronoun stuff. Lucas has a small penis. He gets it from his dad. Uh, just like that movie he looks like the little girl from, it's hereditary. Yeah, the joke nerds like that one, I know. Yeah. Uh, that was five, right? We did five, Yeah, right? yeah it's yeah. like six. Yeah, yeah, you did six. So yeah, so I said, Nat did six. But all right, keep it going for these two, huh? Nat Rogachevsky. <laughs> and my man, Lucas McCreary. Now, that was fun. Uh, let's start with Ty on this one. I feel like I could fuck either one of these fags, to tell you the truth. <laughs> this Probably. This was a, bear, a very iffy battle when it comes to the testosterone on stage. <laughs> Uh, but it was super fun. Nat was off to a super slow start, and then all of a sudden just picked it up. And I thought Lucas was going to win it when he immediately came out and attacked an audience member. I was a real fan of that part. <laughs> <laughs> but then once Nat got going, he really started going. And then there was a point where I felt like the gender jokes became too much, and it wasn't an offensive way. It just was like... I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they would. All right. Yeah. Wow, all these allies in here. I fucking hate both of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you hate fucking us, Ty. <laughs> That's true. Big um, balls. I would vote on this one. I'm still going to go ahead and go with Nat. I okay. think Nat was stronger in the job. Nice. Peter huh? Pansexual killed it. One for Nat. I want to see if this works. You know the uh, Mac and PC commercials? They look like a Big Mac and PC culture commercial. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, 
You knew they wouldn't like it. You knew. <laughs> it's clunky, but clever. It took um, me a minute. On a map. This was a good battle. Uh, Lucas, I confirmed with Adam, does have a penis. Uh, they, I, yeah, I, yeah, in Ty's ass. Am I right? <laughs> Hell yeah. Am I right? Show me the flip. Right. All right. <laughs> Is he right? Yeah, sure. I feel like Lucas could compete in women's sports, and Ron DeSantis would be like, yeah, I guess that's fine, actually. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nat looks like a, a model for New Balance. Um, <laughs> Lucas, you're New very Balance. funny. You're very, very funny. You oh, did a really great job on that. Um, Nat had so many jokes. I counted fucking six name jokes. Uh, it just kept coming, moving away from the gender stuff was really cool, too. And then, like, just showing the range there. I'm not PC. Um, th that was, I'm going to have to give it to Nat. Really great job from both of you. Really enjoyable, that battle. Senior Lucky, who do you like in this one? I fucking love it. You guys look like trans Drake and Josh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I found a gay. I found a gay. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Or just drink. That would work at all. I fucking like that. <laughs> <laughs> I took a big race. Now, Lucas has a penis. It tastes fine. It's fine. Uh, Nat's dick tastes a little bit better. I'm not gay, though, but still. Um, <laughs> like Cheetos. <laughs> That's not it. Look, here's the thing. It was great. Um, I do think Nat pulled ahead a little bit. Fuck you, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish, you whore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Big lover's quarrel. Uh, sure. This is the last battle of the night. I think it's only fitting we go to one more joke, right? What? what? Why the fuck not? <laughs> do you guys have one more joke? I mean, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Shut up. <laughs> it we doesn't made. matter because Matt and Ty already gave it to Nat, but because you're such a cool audience and this is Adam's show, we're doing one more joke. Goddamn right. <laughs> but Nat won. But go ahead. Nat, don't be scared. This isn't the New Testament. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I'm going to say is not going to live up to that. Uh, Nat Rogacheski, uh, more like Nat Rogan Sucky. He'll do anything to get on this stage. <laughs> uh, uh, this, this is actually just true. Lucas's sister used to get mad at him for wearing all her clothes. Can you imagine how pissed she'd be if she found out he fucked all her boyfriends? <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. One last Thanks joke. Thanks One, last me, joke. Right. One last joke. One last joke. Whoa. I'm kidding. My bad, guys. I'm sorry. You guys are so cruel. <laughs> you, you guys are so mean. Love Don't say voice. anything, bitch. I'm fucking... <laughs> I don't know. I love you so much. Are you guys related? Anyway, guys, keep it going for your winner, Mr. Ned Rogachowski! So sweet.